Hi Pet Collective, I'm Lauren Gray and this is Smudge and I'm gonna show you my pets. Come on in. I'm Lauren Gray, I'm about to be 19. I do social media, I make music, amongst many other things. And this is Smudge. She's not interested. I've been on social media since I was about 13. And obviously being on the internet that long, you're bound to <laughs> get some negative comments. And I feel like growing up, I was heavily bullied and the career choice that I've chosen comes with a lot of negativity, a lot of online bullying and, you know, mean comments. But I am really grateful for Smudge and Poppy and even my fish sushi. They've always been there for me and <laughs> Smudge don't judge, you know? <laughs> Smudge is three. She's a Pomeranian. My mom actually came up with the name Smudge. We have a multitude of names for her. We call her Smudge, we call her Poop, we call her Stinky. Sometimes I call her Princess, but most of the time she's Stinky. <laughs> Unfortunately, when Smudge got here, about three days into me having her, um, we started noticing that she was really lethargic and she wasn't moving too much, wasn't eating too much. And on the third day, we saw that there was blood in her stool, which is a pretty well-known sign of parvo. Parvo is a disease. Uh, it occurs a lot in puppies. It's highly contagious, highly deadly. It's, it's really scary and a lot of animals, dogs that get parvo, don't make it through. So it's really important to vaccinate your pets, make sure that they're up to date with all of their shots because these things do happen and it is really awful and painful to go through. <laughs> Six months ago, I think it was now, I actually rescued a cat and he's a disabled cat. He has one eye. Good morning, y'all. Poppy is adjusting well. I didn't want to vlog too much yesterday because I wanted to spend some time with her while oh, she's playing. I thought he was a girl because his name was Poppy, but then I actually looked at his papers and they said he was a boy, so I called him a girl for the first couple of months. I also really wanted to believe he was a girl because I love the idea of an, a female household, but no, nah, he's a boy. I've always wanted a disabled animal. I feel like I have the means to, you know, take care of a disabled animal and I just feel like, you know, every animal needs a home. I love his personality, he's incredible, and I'm really glad that I got the opportunity to rescue an animal and especially one as incredible as him. So this is the kitchen. This is where Smudge comes first thing in the morning. She goes outside, she gets her food, she has her little bed over here that she never uses because she always sits with us. Anyway, and this is Smudge's cabinet of many, see she knows, she knows what's in here. Her favorite treats, blueberry greenies. <laughs> I feel so mean doing this right now. I feel like I have to give her one. <coughs> Yes, you want treats? Good girl, Smudgy. And then she'll run away with it because she does not like to eat in front of people. <laughs> Smudge typically eats pedigree, tender bites for small dogs. I am very careful about what I feed Smudge. She has not a lot of teeth and a really tiny mouth, obviously. So now, anytime you feed Smudge, it has to be a microscopic piece of food for her to uh, ingest because she doesn't chew. So now I'm gonna show you where Smudge sleeps, which is in my room, so let's go. This is my room. This is where Smudge sleeps. She sleeps right above my boyfriend's head, right on these pillows, and that's where she likes to stay. And that's her crate. 
that she stays in very, very rarely. Only if she's in trouble or if we're going to the store or something. We want to keep her separated from the cat. We don't really do that anymore because they get along pretty well. But when we first got him, she was a little scared of him. She wakes up when my boyfriend wakes up. She goes to sleep when he goes to sleep. And she sleeps right here above his head. And then if you come over this way, we have the newest addition to the family. This is Sushi. He's a betta fish. I was at PetSmart and I was getting something for Poppy and I saw him in his little container. I felt really bad. So I made this tank, decked it out, got him acclimated and now he lives here. For people that don't have fish, betta fish specifically get really excited when you walk past. Like every time I walk past his tank, he's super active, but they're just fun and they're very interactive and they have personalities. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that about fish and I love taking care of things. I love taking care of animals. And so, I don't know, I just enjoy having him here and taking care of him. Okay, so this is Poppy and he's probably not gonna wanna be on camera for too long, um, but we're entering his domain. So I thought I'd at least let him say hi before he runs away. As you can see, he does have one eye, but he's perfect to me. This is Poppy's room. It's also the laundry room, but we have his litter box his cat tree that he's torn up, his bed that he doesn't use because he loves sleeping here, and his food and water. He pretty much has free reign over the entire house, but this room specifically is his so that if he wants to get away, he wants to do his business, eat his food, he can do that in private because he's a cat and that's what cats do. Right now, we're gonna do some tricks for one of our favorite charities, Best Friends Animal Society. We love them, they're the best, so we're gonna have Smudge do some tricks to raise some money and help them out. Trick number one, I'm gonna get her to sit. She's very excited. Ready, Smudge? Sit. Good girl. Now, I'm gonna make her give me her paw. Give me your paw. <laughs> give me your paw. Oh, that's a good girl. <laughs> the best she's gonna be able to do on that one. Okay, so much, play dead. Okay, it's okay, we'll help her out, ready? Bang! Good job, Smudge. All right guys, I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching and shout out to Best Friends Animal Society. We love you. Thank you for watching Pet Collective and we'll see you soon, bye. <laughs>